This episode is brought to you by InstantPodcastLeader.com, the leading platform to launch your podcast in 48 hours and make it profitable. Get your free audiobook and free web class at InstantPodcastLeader.com forward slash web class. I believe we can change the world, but first, we've got to stop living in fear of being judged for who we are. Hi, I'm Janisha Alora, founder of the number one leading female entrepreneur network in Southeast Asia, supporting one million women to own and love the F word. Being fabulous, having freedom, financial independence, and family. With a challenge to women everywhere to stop talking themselves out of their dreams, so why? Secrets of the Soul Rich Woman Blueprint identifies the excuses to let go of, the behaviors to adopt, and the skills to acquire on the path to growth, confidence, and believing in yourself to be recognized as a leader online, get clients online, and to have more impact on the world. Stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who you were meant to be. You are just an F word away from the life you want the marriage you want, the family that you want is going to be fueled by the business and life you build. Join me, be a soul rich woman. Alone we are strong, together we are unstoppable. Welcome to the show. Hello gorgeous and welcome to this episode. Now this was a presentation that I did and I shared about money and me, money and you. And I would really like you to transform your business and your life with these few concepts that I'm about to share on the presentation. If you would like me to speak at your next event or maybe even present in your next summit, you can write in to hello at soulrichwoman.com. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Our next speaker, uh, Janisha Alora. So Janisha is a former Miss Singapore cafe retail chain owner and award-winning entrepreneur that includes Southeast Asia Women of Excellence 2010, International Progressive Women 2019, and Business Mentor of the Year 2020. She's the founder of Soul Reach Women, the number one female entrepreneur network in Southeast Asia that connects more than 200,000 women across the region. Today, with the Soul Reach Women Blueprint and Podcast, the latest trend in social media marketing, the network helps thousands to bring their business and leadership brand online. Her vision is to support 1 million women to own and love the F word. <laughs> yep, she is totally a winner and she is looking very pinkish with all her pink background today in white, with lovely long hair, beautiful Janisha. And so if I may start off, so what exactly is the F word and how should we actually love it? Well, thank you very much for introducing me. My name is, let me just quickly flash out my name in case uh, some of you don't know how to spell my name. My name is Janisha Alora, spelled as G-E-N-E-C-I-A-A-L-L-U-O-R-A. Janisha Alora, good to see you today and thank you very much for being here. I would like to appreciate each and every one of you. And of course, what is the F word? Now, the F word is being fabulous, having freedom, financial independence, and a happy family. And that, to me, is the F word. And yeah, so, Xiaoyun, so that is the F word, yes. (laughs) So I want to share with you a little bit about my perspectives about money and why I am doing what I'm doing today. I absolutely love what I'm doing today, but I never started doing that right at the beginning. So I want to pose a question to you today. How much is your time worth per hour? How much is your time worth per hour? Now, that's very important because if you view the value of money, sometimes it's tied to your time. How you value your time and what you're doing in every single 24 hours a day, right? So the way you spend your time is the way you value yourself and is the way that you can grow your abundance and to manifest more money or abundance into your life. So first and foremost, answer my question in your heart, how much is your time worth per hour? It can be any number, there's no right or wrong. 
it really depends on what is in your heart. It could be fifty dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a three hundred three thousand dollars. It doesn't matter what number that is, but we have to answer the first question. So that in itself, hold that answer and hold that thought, and let me come back to you. So, I just want to share a story about who I am and how far I've come. I started working uh, when I was fourteen years old. Uh, when I was, you know, my family financially we were not sound, so I was often bullied in school. My mother pawned her gold to send me for instructor program. So I taught yoga, aerobics, and line dancing at a very young age, at fourteen. So I was one of the youngest instructor in Singapore, and because I didn't have money to buy new clothes, new shoes. Um, and I was wearing the same type of bra, and you know we wear the same type of stuff. So I was often the focus of being of being bullied in school. There were two occasions that I remember very clearly that traumatized me quite greatly. Was that the mean girls cornered me in a basketball court and pulled open my PE shirt, exposing my bra, and they go, "Oh, you're wearing the same bra," and I just felt. Totally humiliated, because you see, I was poor, and to me, that formed the value of money in my heart and my soul. Right, I have to work when others are playing. I have to work when others go shopping. I have to work when you know my my friends are you know staying back in school and chilling out. So it made me very hard. That means my heart was hardened because I have to work and trade time for money, and that to me. Is something that I want to break out. So I never wanted to work for people, never wanted to work for others. But fortunately and unfortunately, I grew and I love to help people. I graduated as an occupational therapist. I went through SARS, and that was a turning point in my life in two thousand and four that I decided that I want to move into entrepreneurship, and and I took the leap of faith out of the nine to five working. Um, as an occupational therapist, and went on to transit into a full-time entrepreneur, starting uh, to do image consultancy and helping others to look good, feel great from the inside out. So that that in itself was a transition of mindset. And moving forward, it was a lot of personal development work, a lot of self healing. I'm so glad I went through a number of different type of programs. That one of them was gifted to me by a very good friend, and it, the first program I attended was Money and You, and then subsequently I attended Psychology of Vision, and that was when my doors opened and I continuously grow into psychology and self healing and personal development, and that healed. Uh, I began my journey to heal my relationship with money, where. I hated my parents for, you know, being poor. The the fact of is of life. I was constantly being bullied in school and looked down upon, consistently. My self esteem took a hit, and it was really tough. I was really vulnerable, um, but because I was able to love and accept myself and develop some beliefs that really helped me to be where I am today. So I li- love to share them with you. Of course, being now. Running a successful cafe retail chain in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, eighteen franchises and licensees. Even though I had a successful cafe retail chain, after four years exiting to a public listed company owner, I was not happy uh, because I just felt that life was more than just profits. Life was more than just making money. Life was more than just whatever that I'm doing right now because I have no business background. And I moved into building a legacy business that I call Soul Rich Woman. So this this soul rich woman. Let me just share with you why I call it soul rich woman. I really believe that women or people, and generally for myself, I I feel that women should have the soul. They have soul. Once you have the soul, you have a soul. You can develop abundance in any way you want. So with the soul, that's how you develop and you evolve as a person, and bear forth the fruits of whatever that you are doing. And that is the definition of soul rich woman, and it ties in with the F word. Fabulous freedom, financial independence, and a happy family, and that defines not a person, but how you value at which point in your life, which one stands out for you most. It doesn't necessarily have to be that four F words. It could be food, 
if you love food, but what is your F word that you truly love to be? So I'm going to share with you some of the beliefs that helped me to break through from my low self-esteem to constantly being bullied to being hard-minded about money that, you know, blaming my parents to loving myself and establishing a business that I truly love while I give value to other people and influencing in other people's lives. So are we ready for the few beliefs? So the first one is I deserve to be rich because I give value to others. Now, earlier on, Shin talks about, you know, butter trading, right? You do for free, whether you should be paid. But as long as you serve, S-E-R-V-E, you deserve to be rich because you provide value to other people's lives. So that is the first belief that transform my life because I also wanted to do free. I want to help those people who are poor, but I must make myself rich first. I must make myself successful first before I could really give more to other people. And now I have a charity. I adopt a few charities, actually. One of the charity is Children at Risk Empowerment Singapore, called Care Singapore, where I help children at risk, youth at risk. I give motivational talks. I counsel them because I was once a troubled teen as well, because I played through one, I was running away from all the pain and suffering I was going through as a bullied youth. So I wanted to share with them that there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel. So if you believe that I deserve to be rich because you give value to people's lives, that's when your life is going to be transformed. And as I was growing and I was developing myself, I, I was giving, giving so much, but I was empty at the same time. I realized that I need to be an excellent receiver. So as I'm giving, I must learn to receive. So when people ask me, oh, can I help you with your business? Can I guide you or can I help you in this project? I say, no, no, I can do it myself. Because I grew up at 14 years old fighting for my own rice bowl. So I'm very independent. So I opened my heart to learn to receive, to be an excellent receiver. That's how the abundance walks through the doors. And after being able to receive, I started to become more and more grateful for every single penny and every single cent that comes in and goes out. By having a gratitude mindset, And saying that, thank you for every single cent, right down to the five cents. I learned that by saying that, appreciating every single cent gave me a lot more, a hundred times more by being grateful for every single one that I have. And of course, I get rich doing what I love. And then that is true for me. I absolutely love what I'm doing now running Soul Rich Woman, exiting my uh, cafe retail chain. I ab- absolutely love that. And, and now I, I'm speaking, I'm sharing my knowledge with people. So that in itself is true. And last but not least, I started with this mantra for a very, very long time. And if you like, you can say it with me. All you need to do is just raise your right hand and put your right hand onto your heart. And then in three, two, one, let's speak this together. Three, two, one. I love myself and I set myself free. This is my time. I'm ready for the next step. Repeat two more times. I love myself and I set myself free. Free. This This is is my time. time. I'm ready ready for for the the next step. step. One more time. I love love myself and I set set myself myself free. free. This is is my my time. time. I'm ready Ready for for the the next step. step. Now pause and breathe in and breathe out. Notice how you feel at this current moment. Be at peace. And notice the feeling about taking the next step. And relax. So that is my journey about money and with money. And notice how um, we've transited and being at peace and aligned with our heart. That's when the soul is truly happy. And alone, you are strong. 
together we are unstoppable. So I hope this will bless you and continue to serve as a reminder that you deserve to be rich when you add value to people's lives. When you do something you love, you deserve to be rich. Thank you for joining me today. I would love for you to connect with me on LinkedIn, Facebook or Instagram and share with me your thoughts on today's episode at Genesha Allura. G-E-N-E-C-I-A-A-L-L-U-O-R-A Alternatively, you can send me an email at hello at soulrichwoman.com H-E-L-L-O at S-O-U-L-R-I-C-H-W-O-M-A-N dot com I have a free gift for you on our website Secrets of Personal Branding and also how do you delegate 80% of your to-do list to your assistant so that you can make money online and focus on your zone of genius and that is available at soulrichwoman.com S-O-U-L-R-I-C-H-W-O-M-A-N dot com Join the number one leading female entrepreneur network in Southeast Asia connecting more than 200,000 women across the region Be a soul rich woman Dream to shine Woman leader Leader activated Alone, you are strong. Together, we are unstoppable.